Today I'm going to show you how to zip a file in Windows 10. For instance, you might have a very large file that you'd like to share with somebody by email or upload to a file sharing service, but it's too large to upload or to share. In this case, you can compress or zip a file to reduce the amount of space that it takes up on disk and to make it faster to share. Now on the left of the desktop here, I have free files that I would like to zip. Now to do that, the easiest way to select the free files is to hold down on the left mouse button, drag over the files that I want to zip, and then let go of the mouse. Now I can right click on any of these three files, select send to from the context menu, and then select compressed zipped folder. Now you can see on the desktop, I have a new zip archive, and all that's left to do is to rename it. So I'm gonna call it docs. Now if I open this archive, you can see our free text documents, and if I scroll to the right, you can see how much Windows was able to compress each of the files. So if I take the third file as an example, you can see that Windows was able to reduce its size by 68% from 10 kilobytes down to 3 kilobytes. Another way that you can zip a file in Windows 10 is in File Explorer. So I'm going to open File Explorer by pressing the Windows key and E at the same time. I'm going to switch over to my desktop folder. So I'm going to select all of the files and this additional folder that I have here. And I'm going to now click Share on the ribbon and then the Zip icon. And now you can see that we have a new zip archive. Again, I'm going to call it Docs. And if I open this archive, you can see all of our files and the folder. And notice that Windows has maintained the file structure. So all the files and folders stay in the same hierarchy that they appear on my desktop. The final way to zip a file is to create a new zip archive and then add the files to it. So I'm going to create a new zip archive on my desktop. So I'm going to right click my desktop, select new, and then compressed zipped folder. And again, I'm going to call it docs. Now all I have to do is add the files to this archive that I want to zip. So I want to this time just add doc1 and doc2. So I'm going to do that by selecting document1 and then clicking document2 with the mouse while holding down the control key. Now all I need to do is drag those two files into my docs archive. And if I open the archive, you can see that we have those two files zipped up. So that's how you zip a file in Windows 10. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for similar tutorials.